It's been a year since the government launched a massive cleanup drive in Manila Bay. And while residents are enjoying its deceptively clear waters, officials warn it's still not safe to take a dip in the bay. Justine Punsalang tells us why. Children swimming at the Baseco Beach can now be seen enjoying the clear waters of Manila Bay. A year after the government began its campaign in restoring the iconic tourist attraction back to its former glory. Since last year, the MMDA has removed over 2,000 truckloads of trash, mud, and slime from the bay. A few months ago, kids would be swimming right next to floating trash. But now, the once murky brown waters seem like a thing of the past. But authorities warn residents and visitors that Manila Bay is still far from being safe to swim in because of high coliform levels. However, residents don't seem to mind. Kung dati po na marumi, eh, naliliguan namin eh, how ma lalo na po ngayon na malinis na, di lalong kaming maliligo. They also pointed to improvements in the area. Masaya po akong nakikita ko na malinis na malinis na po. Pag ano namin, pagigyan ng linisan, pagtulong-tulungan po namin para manatili siyang maling malinis ang basiko po. Over the weekend, Senator Cynthia Villar and Environment Secretary Roy C. Matu led the program for the first anniversary of what is now called the Battle for Manila Bay. Also in attendance were Agriculture Secretary William Dor, Interior Undersecretary Epe Mako Den Singh, and Chief Justice Josdado Peralta. Chief Justice Peralta also took the chance to laud the cleanup drive's progress. Sabi ko kay, ano, kay Secretary Roy C. Matu kanina, I'm impressed. Kasi nanggaling kami doon sa ano, Manila Bay. So he was explaining that ito, wastewater treatment, coming from Estero Abad, lahat malinis na tubig. At pinakita yung tubig at talagang malinis. Hindi ka ba impressed noon? The cleanup activity did not happen overnight. In fact, it was the Supreme Court that ordered 13 government agencies to work on Manila Bay's rehabilitation back in 2008. But DNR Secretary Simatu says despite significant improvements, the battle for Manila Bay is far from over. We have a project dito, a perimeter uh, temporary uh, sewage plant and sewage treatment dito. At the same time, yung mga walang uh, kasilyas dito ay ikokonekta natin dyan. Yung mga may kasilya naman, we will be requiring yung Maynila to, o ano, ano tawag nun, uh, alisin or... Uh, Kunin yung nandyan sa sewage uh, ano nila, septic tank nila, uh, free, libre. Authorities have also turned on the switch for the sewerage treatment plant that's expected to lessen pollution in the bay. The DNR and other concerned agency will also focus on relocating informal settlers living around the area to a permanent site. For News 5, Justine Punsalang, We are One News. 